Hey guys, welcome back. As I had mentioned in the previous episode, I was going to go looking for some trees, and I spent, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. I found some acacia trees, uh, rubber trees, banana trees, which, oddly enough, they have banana fruits on them, but, uh, there aren't any around here. They're just the normal default wood for the trunks. Uh, this little puppy here is, uh, spruce. And then I have a birch. So I've put all these out on dirt. Hopefully they'll grow. Hopefully they're not too close. Or oh, they'll mess up with everything else. Very nice. That is definitely going to be too close. Alright, I'm going to have to spread these things out more. Um, but I'll do that later. I also grabbed a cacti. Which I went ahead and plopped down here. Uh, just temporarily to get some growing. I saw bunch more papyrus but I didn't grab any and you know what I thought I had planted some someplace around here but I don't honestly remember where I put them so I don't know if those have grown at all or not right there it is <laughs> it doesn't look like it grew okay so yeah I got a handful of saplings. I did find more wood than that, however. Um, oh, one thing. That was not a jungle tree, it's a giant sequoia. I harvested some of the wood from it, but it's so massive that there's still a lot left. Oh, hey, the tree grew. Very nice. So here's what I did inside after coming back from all stuff. I went and this whole wall, bottom row of chests, is all woods. We have banana, or rubber tree, banana tree, spruce. You know what, let me get rid of that. The birch trees, willow tree, Douglas fir. Our default wood where I will put this sapling. Acacia trees, pine, beech, oak, jungle tree, giant sequoia, and apple. Apple I have two planks. I have no saplings for. Giant sequoia I don't have any saplings. Jungle tree I don't have any saplings. Oak tree I don't, but I think everything else beach I think I have out there. Everything else I either have saplings in the chests or there are saplings outside just waiting to grow. So this is my my big uh, it's all my different woods. I moved everything else over so it's kind of arranged differently. Not that, that really is that big a deal though I will make this offer to you guys my viewers because you guys are obviously the best. Um, feel free to head over, you know, linked in the travel center and everything, and stop into the warehouse and, you know, if you need anything, help yourself. Uh, there's tons of stuff in here, and I'd hate to see it all just go to waste. Um, that said, however, please don't come in here and just grab everything. Like, if you're going to grab... You know, some... Wait, willow tree doesn't have anything? Why did I make it if I don't... Maybe I have a willow sapling. If you're going to grab something, you know, trees-wise, at least leave some saplings there so I can plant more trees and replenish the stock. Uh, on the flip side of that, if you have stuff sitting around that you don't need and you want to offer up to the community, I'm sure there's other community chests and spawn and stuff, but... Yeah, you can feel free to drop stuff off here. Uh, I will say, though, basalt cobble, don't need any of that. I have tons. Uh, normal cobble, I don't need, but you could throw some in there if you wanted. Another thing I thought of was, what if I don't furnish these rooms? And, in fact, don't even put floors in them. And I leave that to you guys. So, just kind of throwing this out there. I may go ahead and furnish one, but uh, yeah, the rooms, pick a room, put your own floor in it of whatever material, and obviously that'd be the 4x4 space, and where the door is, that node right there, and then go ahead and decorate it with whatever you want. The walls, by the time this video goes live, the whole building will be built, and it'll just be all the rooms needing furnishing. The interior walls don't touch those will stay as they are 
but everything on the inside feel free to decorate uh, if you want to put like windows on these outside rooms go for it I'll probably already have windows but if you want to move them around or something feel free I'll kind of make this uh, a community hotel we'll have to come up with a name um, and then if you want go ahead and put a sign outside the door and you can like do room we'll just call this room number one and then we'll have like decorated by and I'm gonna decorate this first one I guess it doesn't do why did oh because it changes the color if you do that okay well I guess we'll just do room one and then uh yeah, I'll go ahead and put, uh, obviously that can't stay there when I pull the wall down, but I'll go ahead and number all the rooms. It doesn't matter what, uh, what rooms you pick or anything. There's no, they're not any better. Just, you know, to keep it the realism of a hotel, but yeah, go ahead and pick a room and then, you know, throw your name on there as decorated by, um, try to keep with the theme. You know, I don't want to be seeing any computers in these rooms. This is kind of like a medieval-ish era, so no electricity, no lava lamps, uh, but desks, chairs, uh, furnishings like that. If you want to put some wall tapestries up or something. I don't know why there's all these pigs hanging out in here. Wow, they're really attracted to this place for some reason. Uh, things that would fit with that era. And that's going to do it for this video. I know kind of on the short side, uh, but I honestly don't have enough material yet to finish these walls up. I'll probably get most of the first level here completed off camera. I got to wait for those trees to all grow so I can kind of get some more supplies and get these walls going. But uh, when I go to the when I get to the second floor, uh, I'll be filming the building of that and kind of the, how I figure out the whole balcony thing, which I still don't know how I'm doing, but I'll figure it out somehow. And that's going to wrap it up. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.